How many times do I have to tell you, Peter? If you can't look for a pizza, we're on a freaking diver. Pizza, please, not now. Look what you have done. Oh, my poor pizza. Lucky for the dead to not witness the dishonor of cooking. Oh, forgive me for my manners, dear viewers. I welcome you in an extraordinary situation where my assistant and I will show you a masterclass of survival on an alien planet. You are watching. starts with a flyer and minor head trauma. But there is nothing to worry about. Just pick up these waffles and follow my instructions. Shake, cuff, and release the bubbles. Waffles, bubbles! Then you launch your PDA. All of the crucial information can be found there. <laughs> what happened? Hell yeah! Now we're in the game. Come on, Peter, let's go outside. Wow, oh, look at the aftermath. That's just terrible. Now, what is the most important thing we need to take care of surviving in the open ocean? Duty fishes biting off your butt. That's right, resources. What kind of resources you'll see when you see? Just ask yourself important questions. What's over there? What's over here? And what is this? And what are you? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look, Peter, I've made a knife. Take it. Almost any fish in shallow waters is friendly and edible. Gazapods are relatively friendly, but personally, I wouldn't invite one to a pool party. Now the one fish I am interested in is <gasps> the bladder fish. And what do you want me to do with it? Blow and twist it into a giraffe? Actually, I need to squeeze it in a bottle to get drinkable water. You're joking, right? Peter, do I ever joke? <laughs> While Peter enjoys manual crafting, let's make the most essential tool, the scanner. To do that, choose this recipe in the fabricator and let it print the thing with the cost of your craft. The scanner provides us detailed information about the flora, fauna, and all its ways to bite off our arm holding that very scanner. Nothing makes a better visit card for humanity than its piles of junk in the ocean. Let's thank our today's sponsor for its generous piggery, because now we have unlocked a couple of useful tools, such as the repair tool. Use its magical abilities to fix the drop pump. Now, let's send the distress signal. Oh, rather missing it. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed. Once the coordinates are loaded, we can find the survivors and... And uh, borrow their PDA from Peter. Here is the important thing I wish I knew sooner. The key to your survival in the water is oxygen. <gasps> I don't like the look of this. You know that whining isn't good for you, right? Like, how did it turn out for these guys, you think? That is exactly what I'm concerned about! What the... <laughs> eh, don't mind him, he's just mud in the water. After completing the basic survival task, we can relax enjoying the fireworks that Altera organized to honor our achievements. That's hot! Sooner or later we will have to go deeper. And for that, we need a reliable mean of transport. <gasps> Peter, you will not believe this! No, you won't! Seema, the feeling upon receiving your first vehicle hits you just that hard. Unintended.
location in a certain cave nearby. Ah, it's deeper than a sea moth can go. But if we do it quickly, we do it easy peasy. Little update, that's exactly how you do it here. Keep an eye for resources. If you can spot black uh, octahydrons, that's magnetite. It will come handy once you forget that you have one. Try to not get noticed by the locals. And if you do, there is a safe place down there. Probably with things to discover. Oh, what's in here? Now we are on our way home with magnetite and new blueprints to build our home base. Finally! Building couldn't be easier in this game, yet Peter ends up with a misassembled Kinder Surprise for some reason. Day whatever. For the first time I woke up in a bath and it feels so refreshing. Here are a few words about a starter base. Usually it's powered by solar panels so it can generate oxygen and provide the fabricator with energy. In a special room, Peter took care of his storage, having the resources professionally organized. This is a restroom. Here you spend your free time. <laughs> and here is your main workspace. Wait, we're receiving signals. Is that who I think it is? Hey, it's Sunbeam! Who? Eh, what do you mean? Sunbeam keeps your household bright and clean! They are the guys who helped us get rid of chair bugs. Uh, right! They save our asses every time! And they are about to do it again! Quickly, we need to let them know that we are here before it's... Here, the geothermal generator should keep the power flow stable. You want to contribute by making the water warmer, I see. <laughs> but Peter never answered. And as for me, the following night I was sleeping outside in the old drop pot with no bed nor motion sickness pills. While we wait for Sunbeam to arrive, let's visit the distress signal location. If we are lucky, we may find survivors there. You know what's peculiar? Huh? All this time I thought that the diver seed threw an enema. Uh... All righty then. Welcome to the mushroom biome. This time we spend our whole day scanning parts of our first mobile base, being the Cyclops. Peter, collect all resources you can. We scan every detail under each and every rock, checking every box. Avoiding the mysterious enemies on our way. Fighting the hostile environment, as well as intrusive thoughts. Deep down, where nobody dares to go. Detail is scanned, the blueprint is synthesized, and now is that very moment where you return to the base! <gasps> Unlock yourself in sight! <laughs> and there goes my Sima. Well, you lose some, you gain some. Though I really hope that Peter has something to cheer me up after my loss. in a ton of titanium, soon we'll be ready to explore the deepest depths. <laughs> Last one aboard get screwed by inertia physics! <laughs> My god! I have never seen 
anything so, so furious here, Peter. A furious bladderfish. <laughs> now, where is the launch button? Engine powering up. <laughs> the consequences run sequences. to go down in history, don't you think so? Just imagine, a legend of Basta the Fearless and Peter the Useless. 